Well, today I started to put on my Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind um, Custom Face Perfector. I started to put this on today with my flat top brush. Um, <clears throat> that really didn't work at all. Uh, it really went on sheer, very, very, very sheer. And I kind of had to keep um, putting the brush back into the product to get more um, over and over again <clears throat> to kind of build up enough product that I felt like it was going on so it would just take too long to do it that way so I do recommend to use the sponge that's included or <clears throat> you know maybe another sponge that you have on hand if you'd like but the sponge that's included is um, uh, it's not the typical makeup sponge it's more of the soft kind of allure sort of a feel so um, I would definitely use the the sponge that's included um, <clears throat> so basically I did my forehead with the brush and that's about as far as I got because I just thought this is just going to take too long. Um, it does, the other day I kind of described it as cakey and, and it's not really a good word, word for it. <clears throat> it really looks like a thick, just a thick powder when you look at it up close. Um, but I will say that I, I don't really think this would be a good foundation for someone with really dry skin. Um, I think it's going to exaggerate any dry patches you would have. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and you also may want to make sure that you have moisturized your face really well before you apply it, just to avoid that. But I still do like it very much. Um, and, um, I mean, it's still, it's still a good product. I still think I like it a little bit better than the... Uh, Dream Smooth Mousse, even though it does kind of have that powdery look to it. But um, by the time you apply, you know, bronzer and blush and everything else, I don't know that that's anything anybody's going to notice. Um, you have to look close to really see it. So I think the finish is nice, and it seems to stay on pretty well. And um, so I still like it. Just don't recommend using a flat top brush with it. I'm going to be changing my um, <clears throat> bronzer for a little while. I'm going to use the Avon Shimmer Swirls Face Powder in Peachy Pleasures, um, which is a warm palette. And I'm going to use, <clears throat> gosh, excuse me, I still don't have my voice from being sick. Um, I'm going to use the darkest shade. Um, to the right. I'm going to use this shade. I'm basically just stepping my color back um, kind of slowly over time because my tan is fading a little bit. So the sun tan loose bronzer that I was using is a little bit too dark. <clears throat> this is kind of orangey so um, this color I'm really going to kind of stick to um, tight contouring with it. I'm not going to use it kind of all over the face as much. Um, and I may use the little brush that comes with it, um, which is kind of tucked down in here. It's kind of shaped at an angle. Um, or I may just use a crease brush. So, we'll see. Another update. Um, today on my eyes I used this True Color Shadow Stick in Aquamarine. And um, I used that all over the... the um, lid and then in the outer V and in the crease and um, dragging it up towards the brow bone I used this um, dark navy color from the Lido palette and then just in the V <clears throat> and to darken the crease a little bit I used this dark charcoal color um, and then under the eye I used the aquamarine in the inner third of the eye um, I used the navy color in the outer two-thirds of the eye and then I used the charcoal color over top of, of the navy in the outer third. Um, black eyeliner on the top and black mascara. So um, I think I'm going to take a picture and post that on my blog if you want to take a look. Um, it's, it's really pretty. It's really nice. Really quick outfit of the day. Um, I just have my studs on that I always wear. And then I have these little pearl... Um, earrings that are kind of embedded in like a gold kind of flower shape. Um, I got these 
oh my gosh, I've had these since I was in uh, maybe junior high or early high school. Um, we had to sell jewelry. I was a cheerleader. We had to sell jewelry to make money and, um, you know, if you sold certain amounts, then you got free stuff and this was part of the free stuff I got. <laughs> um, then I just have this kind of rust and tan colored top on. Um, it has a leather um, tie here so it does like a keyhole um, top but I don't have it tied. I just have it loose. And um, it just has normal sleeves. And then I just have on um, some tan shorts. It has this little belt on that has some bling and it's got like uh, metal studs around the side. Just some tan shorts, nothing uh, special with those. I wrinkled because I've been sitting down working. And um, my, oh, my metallic flip flops and the regular toe rings that I always wear. Um, my rings that I always wear. My bracelets that I always wear. And then this is a pearl ring with diamonds. Um, it is a ring that was given to me by my father for Christmas when I was young. It's one of the first real jewelry pieces that I had um, when I started getting interested in jewelry. Kind of every year I would ask him for like a different stone. Like one year I wanted an emerald and one year I wanted um, something with diamonds and one year I wanted a pearl. Um, so he gave me this ring and then he gave me a necklace and earring set that actually kind of matches. So um, they didn't specifically go together, but they look nice together. And um, I think that's it. Nothing that really exciting or special, but comfortable. And I can go to the grocery in it. Well, I'm waiting in a parking lot. I'm going into Giovanni's, which is like a local Italian restaurant that's been around. It's real popular in my town. Um, meeting some people that are in town that I went to high school with. Um, don't really have very much makeup on today. It's just so hot that I just didn't feel like it. Um, so I just have a brown eyeshadow on and some eyeliner and that's it. Um, just pencil eyeliner on top. Gosh, there's been, I haven't taken you guys with me for quite a while. Um, I was, you know, I'm still kind of creepy from being sick all last week. Uh, so I haven't really, I've done stuff, but I just didn't bring you guys with me. And last weekend I had a bunch of stuff I was supposed to do. One of those pure romance parties, but I didn't go because I used to do fun parties for a living. Um, quite a few years back, and I really don't need any more of that stuff. Um, but I probably should have gone just to take you guys with me, because it would have been fun. And, um, another group of people from high school were getting together, but, um, I couldn't make that either. I just wasn't feeling well. And, just some stuff like that. I've done some shopping. I probably should do some haul videos haven't gotten around to those yet either. So, sorry guys, I have to do some catching up for you. Um, but I'm just going to kill time here for about another five more minutes and wait for everybody to show up. And then I'm going to go in and eat some really yummy food. And who knows what I'll do after that. <laughs>